It feels like the modern automotive world exists in two parallel dimensions. One universe is building ever bigger SUVs and trucks, while the other is fixed on downsizing. Today we'll use our interdimensional portal to visit the realm of compact and super maneuverable electric three-wheelers. They combine eco-friendly operation with limitless fun and convenience. So subscribe to Automotive Territory and let's explore the newest electric trikes and three-wheel autos. Enjoy the ride! Avenir Spiritus Legera Basically, this is a roofless version of the Canadian Daymac Avenir Spiritus that made its debut three years ago. It is also the first standalone model from Avenir since the company branched out from Daymac. As its name suggests, the Legera is lighter and more accessible in terms of pricing, but also less powerful. Three versions are on the table, Sport, Deluxe and Ultimate. The entry-level model is powered by a single rear-wheel drive motor and a 7 kWh battery pack. It is also protected by a two-year warranty. The mid-range Deluxe adds two front and wheel motors for all-wheel drive capability and it can achieve 5.3 seconds 0 to 37 mph acceleration. This version boasts a standard off-road kit, adjustable suspension and a three-way electronic differential. Finally, the flagship Legera Ultimate brings a continuous power output of 14 horses, accelerates to 37 and 3.2 seconds and features torque factoring. The vehicle also has a carbon fiber body trim and enhanced regenerative braking. The Avenir claims a top speed of 80 mph and a maximum driving range of 90 miles. Hopper Created by the German startup of the same name, the Hopper was designed to drive in dense urban areas with limited parking and tight streets. Unlike many similar car bike crossovers, the three-wheeler is extremely lightweight, tipping the scales at just 265 pounds. The Hopper has two front wheels wrapped in 20-inch bicycle tires and one rear wheel wrapped in a 10-inch scooter tire. The model measures nearly 7 feet long and 3 feet 9 inches wide and offers a 6.5 feet turning radius thanks to its standard rear wheel steering. The sides are door free and the vehicle has a large windshield and a fixed roof. There is also a full lighting system featuring two 550 lumer headlights. The company plans two versions of this model, passenger and cargo. The former accommodates a driver and an adult passenger or two children plus it has a 175-liter trunk. The cargo model is good for the rider only, but it does not compromise on the load space, offering 300 liters of volume. Inside, every hopper is equipped with a windshield defogger, two USB ports and a steering wheel integrated touchscreen display. Finally, we should talk about the model's drivetrain setup. It consists of a rear-wheel hub motor rated for 250 watts and a 1.44 kWh battery pack. The latter stores enough juice for a 40-mile drive and it is removable, so you can recharge at home using a standard wall socket. Aptera SEV After successfully collecting nearly $135 million from private investors, Aptera partnered with the US Capital Global to secure an additional 60 million rounds and finally start low-volume production. The brand's investor presentation details that in 2024, Aptera plans to build 10 to 12 validation prototypes, complete crash testing, and manufacture 10 to 15 production and 10 vehicles that will be available for purchase. Unfortunately, the owners of the first 2000 SUV production slots will have to wait a while longer, since 2025 will see under 400 vehicles delivered and the rest will come sometime in 2026. As before, Aptera will offer several configurations of the SUV, two or three electric motors, front or all-wheel drive, up to 100 kWh battery capacity and a maximum driving range of 1000 miles. Its solar array is set to restore up to 40 miles of charge per day, effectively covering the majority of daily commutes. The Aptera bodywork is all composite, it has a 0.13 drag coefficient and the three-wheeler consumes only 100 watt-hours per mile. Additionally, it gets 32.5 cubic feet of rear cargo storage while still managing to accommodate two passengers. Support the electric revolution by smashing the like button. 
Let's keep rolling. Brooklyn 3 EV The Brooklyn SV1 is an exotic two-seat sports car that was manufactured for a single year between 1974 and 75. While the gull-winged original had failed to live up to the expectations, half a century later, it still inspired the creation of a potentially groundbreaking three-wheeler. The Brooklyn 3 EV will be manufactured by the Visionary Vehicles in collaboration with Panas Engineering, MTV Concepts, Mike Vatter and Andreas Haas. This V utilizes a body and frame construction with a 106-inch wheelbase and overall length of 184. The exterior styling will be changed every 50,000 units to enhance exclusivity and resale value, but the signature scissor doors will be staying. The new Brooklyn is promised to have a 275-mile range and superb performance with a very low center of gravity anti-lock brakes and traction control. Actual horsepower and speed remain undisclosed. The interior of this track features a digital cockpit with OTA updates, a head-up display, power seats and premium sound. Carver Electric in the business for over 30 years, the Netherlands-based Carver is responsible for two distinct three-wheeler models, the gasoline-propelled one and its all-electric version revealed in 2019. The latter absorbed features of a scooter and a car, it is a convertible retractable roof, is operated using a steering wheel and pedals, but still requires only a scooter license to ride. This model has dual rear wheels, measures only 38.6 inches wide, and comes equipped with dynamic vehicle control for safer turning. It also offers multiple configurations that differ in equipment, powertrain details and general application. These include Base, Comfort, Sports, R+, and S+. All feature two seats have 2.6 cubic feet of storage behind them and get standard Comfort and Sport driving modes. The top speed parameter belongs to the Carver S+, which is good for nearly 50 mph, while the range record is set by the R+, rated for 80 miles of driving. Additionally, the entry-level Carver and the Plus models are available with a cargo body, which means a squared-off rear section, single seat, 17.7 cubic feet of load space, and 1,100 pounds of payload. Morgan XP1 Morgan first experimented with an all-electric powertrain seven years ago when they released the EV3. Their second model is an evolution of the design, which should absorb the latest improvements within the battery electric technology. The Morgan XP1 makes a leap forward in terms of aerodynamics by improving its track coefficient to 0.42. The new powertrain doubles the output to 134 HP and sends those to the rear wheel via a chain drive. The 33 kWh battery can cover 150 miles of range, and surprisingly, it does not significantly increase the curb weight. It remains below 700 kilos, or about 1500 pounds, which is very close to the three-wheel Morgans powered by Ford's internal combustion engines. The XP1 uses adjustable nitron dampers and has a very sharp handling. Inside the refreshed two-seater cabin, there is a new infotainment and an experimental Sennheiser sound system that employs actuators mounted directly onto the chassis, effectively turning the car into a sound amplifier. Archimoto FUV After ballooning to the market valuation of $1.2 billion, the bright future of the fun utility vehicle balances on the edge of bankruptcy. It remains unknown whether the new CEO will pull Archimoto out of the ditch, but we still want to acknowledge the most advanced electric three-wheeler to ever ride the earth. The latest modifications of this vehicle were the classic FUV, rapid responder for the emergency services, the deliverator for the last mile deliveries, and the roofless lighter roadster. Additionally, Archimoto's ambitions included the Cameo with a rear-facing seat for filming, and the MUV flatbed pickup to cover the general utility market. The FUV platform uses lithium nickel manganese cobalt battery chemistry with 19 and 12 kWh capacity 
and the electric motor that produces 77 horsepower. The larger pack ensures 32 to 100 miles of range with a maximum speed of 75 mph. Archimotos is one of the largest three-wheel communities in the business, so it would be sad to lose this three-wheeler. Let's wish them luck. Twike 5 In over 25 years of development, Twike 1, a two-seater bicycle with a body, has gone over four generations, including several concepts and a functional prototype. Now, the project has evolved into an electric three-wheeler vehicle ready for production. The Twike 5 combines features of a bike and a car, operates using pedals and joysticks, and comes underpinned by an aluminum frame with a modular safety cell and a steel roll bar. By using composite materials, the Germans keep the Twike's weight to a minimum, so it tips the scales under 1,320 pounds. The model is propelled by a single synchronous motor that peaks at 95 horses directed to the rear wheels. Two battery options are on the table. The 18 kWh pack is good for 80 mph speeds and 155 miles of driving, while the larger 36 kWh is set to offer 118 mph max velocity and up to 310 miles on a charge. This is made possible by the car's low energy consumption of 7.2 kWh per 62 miles. As before, the Twike 5 remains a human-powered hybrid, which means that the driver and the passenger can paddle at their own pace to recharge the battery on the go and get their daily dose of exercise. Mahindra E-Alpha and Trail Mahindra's last-mile mobility subdivision is the undisputed leader in affordable electric rickshaw-style transportation. Their current lineup consists of E-Alpha and Trial vehicles. Mahindra three-wheelers utilize modern PMSM motors with high efficiency and torque, but the former model still uses the lead-acid battery technology. The Trial in turn has transitioned to the lithium-ion chemistry, so it supports faster charging times, 81 miles or 130 kilometers of real-world range, its top speed reaches 55 km per hour and the warranty is twice as long. The vehicle is controlled with a motorbike-like handlebar and foot pedals for the acceleration and braking. It is an ultimately simple commuter vehicle with a minimalistic display, either metal or fabric roof, and two rows of seats for the unrestricted number of passengers. By the way, Mahindra also markets the Trio and Alpha three-wheelers in the cargo variants, with an open pickup style bed and a cargo box. What is it that you like about electric three-wheelers? Do we need more of those on the streets and highways? Let's have a talk in the comments below. Personally, I would choose an Archimoto FUV. Sucks that they're going out of business. Thanks for being with the Automotive Territory. Subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell and watch more informative car content through the links on the screen. May the torque be with you!